in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh. Many years ago, then, you know, people didn't know me like they do now. So I had the liberty to do many things. Every time I entered a city for a meeting, I would usually go a day before or wait a day extra. And I would always search for those that were doing great things for the kingdom. And I would always find a way to contact those graces. There are few campgrounds in this nation that have not gone to there are few denominations by the grace of god that have not preached in and every time i go i like to study what did god do with them it doesn't matter even if they've lost the texture of the power that is at work there because mantles don't leave the earth that means it is somewhere waiting for discernment and honor even if the oil is in your house it's possible you will not benefit from it that woman had the oil in her room for a long time the oil was hearing the conversation and yet it could not profit her hallelujah yeah and i'll tell you a few of the stories maybe two or so i remember one time i had the opportunity to visit you know a lot of all the campgrounds you know especially from lagos about an express where all those campgrounds you see when I enter those places, sometimes they keep me in their guest houses when I'm ministering either in the church there or any other place. And I wait for everyone to go and sleep. Then in the night, I will get up and go out to the campground. Usually you'll find pockets of people praying. And I just find somewhere and say, Lord, what did you deposit here? What did you put on the ground here? I may not have access at that time i didn't it was not easy to meet the fathers they didn't have a relationship with them but with hunger in my heart and expectation like reverend sam has taught you i would pray and pray certain encounters pray certain mantles pray certain anointings and you see the thing about the anointing is like pregnancy you may doubt it for a few weeks but eventually you will know you are pregnant you can't be heavy and not know hallelujah the same way something was coming on someone you will know you will know that finally this grace i've been praying for has come upon my life hallelujah i always didn't walk in the prophetic like i do now you know word of knowledge here and there but i remember one of the most profound encounters that changed my life i was watching william branham watching him you know i had several of their videos i would just watch in the night and I remember it was an interview, a very rare interview. And I was looking at the man, such a display of humility. This was a man who was mightily used by God. Now towards the end of his life, because of several things that happened, ignorant people who do not have not even studied church history and are not even students of revival, kept making all kinds of blind, ignorant conclusions about him. This was a man who would sit to pray in the wilderness and would watch squirrels form and run into the bush and i said lord but this man is your servant I, I don't know whatever happened in his life but this is very powerful 
and i respect your walking in him how did you walk in a man like this and then a miracle happened right there it was like something left that laptop and just rested upon my head a very cold sensation for over a period of 30 minutes it was just going down my body i said what is happening to me now at that time I, I'm, I'm, I'm by god's grace i'm a i'm a rich beneficiary of encounters i can teach on encounters i'm not ignorant of those experiences but here was something happening to me that was strange and by the next meeting i went to the power of god the anointing is in levels there is a reason why i'm telling you this because one you see the enemy of more is the current that you have most times when you are in total bankruptcy your hunger is at a level because you are aware that you do not have but when you have something small you do not know what else can come don't tell me i'm a prophet or i'm a prophetess to what degree have you spoken the counsel of god for kings to hear you if you are not there you are not there apostle and prosperous to what degree how much can you give the kingdom and still sleep if you have if that has not happened you are not yet there are we together now yes we are talking of serving the purposes of the kingdom at a level where your life becomes a statement your life becomes a case study that people can learn god through the excellency of your results this is what god wants to do in your life and even my life you believe that say amen, amen. now very quickly i want to just wrap up with this and then we'll pray how to receive the anointing reverend sam began to speak powerfully on the laws of power and i'm praying that you find a way of honoring your way to his life to get the remaining everything that gets to seven you will need to hear what he has to say about the laws of power but then let me teach you very quickly the anointing comes upon a believer genuine anointing comes upon a believer according to scripture by two principal channels number one directly from god through encounters please write the anointing can come upon a believer directly from god acts chapter 10 and verse 38 let's read the first five words acts 10 38 or the first four words ready look up let's read one two go one more time who anointed jesus you can have an encounter with god you see because the anointing is spiritual you can receive of a spiritual substance and have it manifest here the anointing is not like physical money that you must receive naira or dollars physically solomon is another example the bible says in a dream god came to him and imparted upon him wisdom and understanding heart was given to him and he said i have also given you riches and honor like no other king has he woke up if you were solomon's roommate you would get up knowing that you had a nice night not knowing that the person who just woke up would never be the same again and they started seeing the excellency of his impartation through the results that followed you can receive directly from god number two the second biblical channel which is the more frequent one as far as receiving the anointing is concerned is impartation from the carriers of the anointing 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 will continue but i'm seeing doves that's what i'm seeing inside this view i'm like doves not just doves and i'm seeing it i'm seeing it land now on two people and for one of them you are a woman listen carefully please i'm seeing it land on this woman and the lord is telling me that he's he started by having prophetic dreams that the things that you see used to happen but somehow it looked like it just dried up but that there is a restoration a restoration 
a restoration let me speak it already over that person i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus wherever you are in this auditorium or following online i declare that that grace rests upon you now i declare that that grace rests upon you now please sit down sit down impartation what is impartation impartation is a spiritual system of transferring possibilities possibilities are they are they have they have they can be substantiated and they be, can be transferred from person to person possibilities you can transfer possibilities please listen carefully and the assignment of impartation is to transfer possibilities from the careers to those whose hearts are hungry in philippians chapter 1 from verse 7 the b part for sake of time philippians chapter 1 from verse 7 it says ye all are partakers of my grace paul is speaking to the church in philippi he's saying that all of you can be partakers that i came to you in philippi manifesting certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities and that under a certain condition you can be a partaker you know how we light candles you can have 10 candles that have the potential to burn but do not have they are not lit and you can take just one is that true and just in a matter of minutes you will not even know which one lit which again that's how impartation works when you impart graces it does not diminish what you carry if what you carry diminishes you just stop keeping the law that preserves it is someone learning ye all are partakers of my grace in romans chapter 1 from verse 11 romans 1 11, paul was speaking and he said for i long to see you that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established established in business established in ministry established in governance politics whatever area of endeavor hallelujah the bible is full of people who received certain graces that prior to that time they didn't have and all was a product of impartation hallelujah in numbers chapter 27 when we read 18 to 20 let's look at it very quickly numbers 27 18 to 20 thank you it says and the lord said unto moses take thee joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit so this man was not without the spirit he said although he has the spirit he said thou shall lay your hands upon him verse 19 and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation he says and give him charge of their sight may verse 20 happen to someone in this service and thou shalt put some of thine honor you see that honor is a grace what is honor the ability to be perceived and be rewarded to match your true worth when the grace for honor comes upon you you are perceived and you are rewarded to match your true worth thou shalt put some of thy honor upon him why that the congregation of the children may be obedient so obedience is a product of honor not sincerity you can be as sincere as you are as a preacher and find out that as a preacher as a businessman it looks like your people and even your territory does not seem to hearken to you it is the absence of honor hallelujah are we learning deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 puts perspective to what happened you will see the kind and the dimension of the spirit that came upon joshua 34 9 deuteronomy deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 and joshua the son of Nun was what full of the spirit notice the bible says he had the spirit now the bible says he is full 
of the spirit of wisdom for moses had laid his hands upon him and the children of israel hearkened to him as they did moses so they did not hearken to moses because he was called moses he was carrying a possibility upon his head that was creating a reaction hallelujah time will fail me to talk to you about the story of moses and the 70 elders you find that in numbers 11 how that the spirit that was upon one man came upon 70 people isn't this profound one man was carrying a spirit and yet he could not speak well and it came on 70 elders and none of them could keep quiet yet one person was carrying that and he was silent let me tell you the truth we are all equal in christ but as far as the distribution of these graces it has separated men into cadres. how can part of the spirit on one man comes upon 70 elders they stood prophesying from morning till night non-stop and yet that was what moses was carrying quietly In 2 Kings chapter 2, when you read from verse 1 to 15, the entire story between the impartation, the impartation that transpired between Elijah and Elisha. Finally, Elijah is about to be taken and he tells Elisha, ask. I hope you know that Elisha at this point was only serving. He did not have the privilege to be trained. The sons of the prophet were there with jealousy and the rest we know god is taking him we are that prophetic enough but they could not receive anything and here was a hungry and a desperate farmer and elijah said all right ask and he said a double portion of your spirit ah he said do you know the rules of impartation you have asked a hard thing but if you can see me as i'm taking off was he not looking at him so there is a kind of seeing your concentration your faith that's what reverend sam was teaching you that your faith has an eye and it can see it can describe what it wants i know i desire a double portion and the bible says the heavens were open and he saw chariots and he shouted my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof the mantle landed and he stood before jordan he said where is the lord god of elijah and the waters parted hither and thither the sons of the prophet looked at him and they testified that the spirit of elijah doth rest upon elijah there are many of you that when you leave this conference some of you as early as tomorrow that as you mount your pulpit to preach or your various they would look at you and say no i've been with you 10 years what changed where did you go to what did you listen to this is not the you that we used to know in the name of jesus may that be your testimony yeah. hallelujah there are two rules for receiving impartation and this is what i'll wrap up with number one is honor number two is service listen carefully impartations do not just happen arbitrarily there are rules there are laws in the spirit that control impartation the first is honor the second is service honor is a very powerful spiritual law now watch this isaac wants to bless his son watch this now isaac wants to bless his son esau and he says esau come i want to bless you and even though i'm a rich man having cattle at the back of my house if i lay my hands on you like that nothing would happen because there is a law go to the wilderness go and get the same thing i already have he says make me venison make sure it's the one that delights my soul that means pay attention as you are preparing this you are careless you will still miss the impartation make me venison such as my soul loves he said that i may bless you before i die and esau got up and left and while all of that discussion was happening you, you, you've read the scripture their mother heard it and she said ah jacob come something is about to leave your father to your brother and you might miss it go to the back of the house we are going to deceive your father 
and he said no 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 but my brother is a hairy man even though this man is blind he's still prophetic he said i will handle that and when he came to his father he said how come you came so early and hear what he said he said because the lord gave me how come you are not supposed to have arrived by this time i'm not teaching on speed when we're imparting the grace i will tell you he said no you should not have arrived but he said remember there is a possibility that god can give men he gave me and that's why and he said okay i understand let me reach out to you and he said the voice is that of jacob but the body is that of esau that is already a lesson for deception where the voice becomes that of jacob but the skin is of esau anyway he lays hands on him and releases the blessing and just when he's done blessing jacob esau comes and he said who is this he said father i'm back who did i bless and then he began to cry an adult crying and he said nothing is left he said it is finished question how did he measure it where did he keep it how did he know that it is finished already this guy was skillful so by the law of value he would not be poor in life at least yet he was crying because something he wanted had gone and the father said it's over to abraham i hope you know abraham had many children are we together now abraham had about six in total am i right on that ishmael isaac and then the others with the concubines when it was time for allocating blessings the bible says he called all of them and gave them of all the physical things but he says to isaac he gave isaac all what else did he give him called all he never gave isaac any physical thing he gave the rest cattle but he gave isaac all and then the bible says isaac departed with that all and everything started gravitating from everywhere and looking for him and isaac sowed in that land by reason of what you carried and reaped that same year a hundredfold the bible says he began to prosper he went forward he advanced and the philistines envied him honor oh, let me submit to you and i say this with every sense of responsibility the reason why many preachers and many people do not receive in the body of christ is because for some strange reason i think it culture has a role to play in this too we have mastered the art of trivializing people's sacrifices and their track record with god just because you were not there in the wilderness does not mean david was not there so when we see men and women of god arise in power commanding certain levels of possibilities chances are excellent that we just begin to feel they were lucky or maybe something just happened to them no it's a very it's a very wrong you can hear reverend sam was speaking about when he was in azare in bauchi state praying in the wilderness in the bush anybody who is relevant and serious now must be able to tell you their wilderness face where they sought god blindly went to bushes went to under trees went somewhere sat all kinds of places i told you yesterday that kings are not trained in palaces no the palace did a bad job on moses he had to be relocated to the wilderness to be trained well hallelujah so most times we just have for want of what this this mentality of i know this person i know this one he is my brother he's my sister i know this person and we don't receive anything lift up your hands and you're like what is there i'm also prophesying and you find out that we continue to shortchange ourselves hallelujah when i learned the law of honor it is one of the most potent laws that have worked in my life probably second only to the law of encounter every time you communicate honor the gates of a man the bowels of a man's spirit is genuinely open do you know that you can lay hands on a man and the person who laid hands he knows that nothing came he 
it's just so that the man will go away and not disturb you but in all honesty you know between you and god that nothing came on that man's head but there is a way that your heart can be opened and i'm praying that today someone will give his destiny a chance that your heart be open to receive i have been a seeker of god's presence but i've also followed i've pursued men and women that carry genuine graces you do not know how far i've gone on this journey of search for genuine anointings genuine anointings hallelujah i would read god's generals and read the books and among the, i was not just looking for the stories i was searching for any persons who participated in the entire process who were within reach so that i could access them and at least honor them most of us have this and and again like reverend sam said i think is 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 a misunderstanding on our theology i have god i have a holy spirit i don't need any man to do anything it's not true it's not true read your bible well and look at the results of people who advocate these things no even in heaven the foundations of heaven have the the names of the 12 apostles as the foundation god has an organogram there is a way he builds when you meet jesus christ the chief cornerstone the next ministries that you must meet to rise as an edifice is the apostolic and the prophetic the bible calls them foundations jesus the word incarnate needed three prophets in his life to rise number one simeon the prophet number two anna the prophetess number three john the baptist not to count the number of men that played roles in his life where would jesus be if joseph of arimathea was not there simon of cyrene helping him to carry the cross when saul who would later be called paul when he met with jesus jesus himself directed him to the house of ananias to go and wait for a man to come and continue you would think having met jesus you will not meet any man again it was not jesus that got him filled with the holy ghost ananias is go to a street called straight in the house of one judah you will meet paul he's blind but he has seen in a vision that you are coming he's been fasting three days and he said brother saul jesus whom you saw has sent me that you will you, you will receive your sight and be filled with the spirit and by a prophet the lord the emphasis is the lord but don't ignore the vessel don't focus on this and forget that there is something holding it you don't keep your bible here this is a support system this is the emphasis jesus but you will never see jesus lifted without the body that lifts him he's called the head of the body so many people have aborted prophetic seasons in their lives because their hearts were not open to receive now i know that when it has to do with the apostolic the prophetic and the ministry of the spirit there is a lot of correction and balance that needs to happen sadly whether in nigeria here or across africa unfortunately there are all shades of stories i don't want to go into now there are people who because of this that i'm teaching you may want to teach human worship it's as if you have to worship and bow down no 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 that's not what i'm teaching but let me let me truly tell you that for as long as your heart is not open to communicate honor no matter how much that man of god loves you there will be no transference i submit this to you for as long as he's your colleague for as long as he's your tribesman jesus your jesus entered a city and the bible says he could not do any mighty works he marveled at their unbelief yet there were others thou son of david have mercy on me the woman with the issue of blood discerned i know i should not touch the priesthood i am a woman who who has uncleanliness and i should not touch i will pay the price later on but as for i can't let this man pass me it is why those who are closest to the anointing remain stunted the most 
because familiarity has a very unique way of cheating people they never you see that now god has gathered us here all through the session speaker after speaker helping us to understand certain things in the spirit and right now within the few minutes that we have someone is going to be receiving something but my prayer is that you don't just be a spectator and say wow wonderful what a great meeting advance was a great conference and then wait for next year again for nothing at all to change the bible says ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth john chapter 5 oh i know 16 john i know impartation oh the system of transfer but where is the result in your life my assignment this morning is for you to be angry to say no something has to change i'm tired of calling a miracle service i'm praying and people live as if they, they are just living a funeral because nobody was healed nobody i, I can't keep giving excuses i lied i said they did not fast well i lied i said they did <laughs> get angry in your spirit as a man of god that, that your members know they are already used to the word not working in your mouth so when you say you are blessed they're on their way out because they know it's a waste to say amen they reserve that energy to shout amen for a voice they trust it must change the bible speaking about samuel said he was a man that none of his word fell to the ground if if samuel spoke to you when the donkey was missing they said let's stop wasting our time there is a prophet there is a seer there is one who has obtained grace from god if we meet this man our problems will be solved can men say that about you we are going through this family challenge we are going through this situation we are tired of poverty but we know there is a man that god has raised in abuja there is a man that god has raised in nigeria let him make a declaration over our lives please listen to me ladies and gentlemen for the sake of those connected to you open up your heart for the anointing even if not for your sake man of god realize that there are people you are the only voice through which they will hear god and if you allow yourself to be stunted and not rise you are destroying the destinies of innocent people you are a businessman here but can you truly say that grace is at work in you business is more than buying and selling There are many anointings that God is going to be imparting. But there are four of them I want you to listen before we begin to pray. Number one. The first grace I believe by the Spirit of God that someone is about to receive. Please help someone. I just saw fire coming on a gentleman right now. I just saw fire just landing on him and the lord is telling me that this gentleman is going to become a very mighty prophet i don't know who that person is help them please in the name of jesus a mighty prophet that's what i saw in the spirit right now that fire coming on there are this gentleman wearing green i'm seeing oil being poured on his head this one sitting in front in the name of jesus the son of the living god that you will be so stirred up in the spirit please pay attention number one is the grace for encounters do you know encounters the assignment of encounters is to create conviction you cannot be persuaded and you cannot walk supernaturally in the spirit without encounters blessed is the man whom god causes to approach him number two the second grace that you are going to be receiving to is the grace for visibility. Hmm. Is there such a grace that can cause the nations to know? I wish I were lying. I would have just told you I'm playing with you in this April, month of April. 
you know but i can tell you without the grace for visibility i don't care what you do on social media i don't care what you do around nobody will pay attention to you this world is full of evil and selfish people people are too busy pursuing their own agenda whatever will make them turn and invest their attention upon you must be grace from heaven there are businesses right now that need the grace for visibility i was listening to some of you whilst um pastor bolaji was speaking yesterday you have your business the woman who spoke about poultry and the rest the grace for visibility is a wonder i remember those days right from zaria in that in that supposed place people were coming from all over the world in spite of kidnappings they would come in and were not very high profile people come land enter a gulf and have all these people drag inconvenience themselves hotels that were not even and they would still stay with joy when the grace for visibility is upon you your life becomes a wonder i'm saying this listen do you know that noah would have died if he had to look for the animals one by one to enter the ark there was a grace that came upon him and all the animals on their own seven by seven two by two everywhere they were they found themselves to that ark that there is such a grace that can come on you the woman who met with jesus con contacted that grace immediately she ran and said come see a man without argument they followed her we don't trust where we are going but they were still going the grace for visibility the grace for visibility many of you are too hidden to be impactful you are anointed you've done your homework but nobody knows you are there your partners are not aware you are there those who have been sent by god are still asking lord you made me prosper who is the person i'm to help you are there but they cannot see you remember there are other people who were asked to train certain donkeys but to never ride on them because the rider will be different the man who trained the donkey that jesus rode upon the bible says a donkey that no man had ridden not even the owner how will you be training a donkey that means there are people making profits from certain businesses and god has already given them instructions that the profit for this business is not for you hallelujah when the grace for visibility is upon you it no longer becomes an issue of location please believe me i know what i'm saying any other thing just becomes an added advantage it does not matter if you are in the cave yes sir the nations will search for you i'm not talking people groups they will search for you kings will look for you and 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 run to you and say teach us the counsel of god show us the ways of god when jesus was born was it not a star that signified his arrival of a baby and the magi saw it they said something is happening let's follow the star and they carried gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh not to meet an adult not to meet someone who had solved their problem to meet someone who had the grace for visibility that your star can arise and those who know can see that in abuja god has raised a man god has raised a woman god has raised a business please believe that i'm not deceiving you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. the face of development lord grant me the discipline